Okay, so today we're going to have a look at expanding double brackets. So grab a piece of paper and a pen, make some notes, and we're going to have a look at some questions. So here's the first one. Expand and simplify x plus 3 and x plus 4. Now there's lots of different ways of doing this. I opt to do it uh, in a particular method. I'm just going to show you how I go for it. So I'm just going to rewrite the question and x plus 4. Now the first thing I do is I expand the first two uh, in both brackets. So essentially we're going to do uh, the x times both the pieces and then the 3 times both the pieces, almost like two single brackets um, but obviously we've got a double bracket here. So the first one that I'm going to do is x times x and x times x is x squared. Then from the x to the 4, so x times 4 and x times 4 is 4x, just take a note of the fact it is a positive 4 so that'll be a positive 4x. Okay, because so that's obviously going to change when the symbols change. Then I move down onto the 3, so I'm going to move on to the one below, so now I'm going to times them both by 3. So 3 times x, and that's positive 3 times x, so it's positive 3x. And then 3 times 4, and that's positive 3 times positive 4, so positive 12. There you go, and that's that expanded. All we've got to do now is simplify it, and that's because these two middle pieces here are like terms. They're both x pieces. So we'll keep the x squared as it is. Add together the 4 and the 3x, and that makes 7x, so plus 7x. And then plus 12, there we go. And that's your... Uh, brackets expanded and simplified and that's called a quadratic there okay so that is the first one that you're going to have a look at so hopefully you've made some notes on that and let's have a look at some more okay so expand and simplify this one so we've got a negative in the second bracket so I'm just going to rewrite this we just need to make sure we're careful with that so x plus 5 and x minus 2 now following the same process I'm going to do the x times the x I always do those first get that x squared piece at the start so we get x squared and then the x times the negative 2. So being careful this time because it is negative 2, so it's going to be negative 2x. Okay, just be very, very careful of the symbols. Then onto the 5, it's positive 5 times x, so positive 5x. And then positive 5 times negative 2, positive times a negative makes negative 10. And then again, we've just got to simplify this. So tidying it up, just being careful here because we've got negative 2, add 5 in the middle. Negative 2, add 5 is positive 3, so we end up with positive 3x in the middle. And again, keeping that negative 10 at the end, and that's there, expanded. Right, one more before we have a go. On to the last one here, we've got a double negative in both of those, so we've got x minus 5 and x minus 4. So again, just following this exact same process, but just being careful here, because we've got quite a lot of negatives going on. So x times x is x squared again. x times negative 4 is negative 4x. On to the underneath. Negative 5 times x is negative 5x. And then we've got negative 5 times negative 4. 5 times 4 is 20. And negative times negative makes it positive. So we've got positive 20 there. And then just being very careful when you tidy these up because we've got negative 4 subtract another 5. So negative 4 take away 5 is negative 9. So x squared minus 9x plus 20. And that's your double bracket expanded. OK, so here's some for you to have a go at. OK, so expand and simplify all four of these. Pause the video there, and we'll go over the answers in a sec. OK, so expanding the first one. I'm not going to rewrite them, but let's have a look. x times x is x squared. x times 3 is 3x. Then we've got 5x. And then we've got 15. And tidying up those two middle ones, 3 plus 5 is 8. So x squared plus 8x plus 15. There we go. On to the next one. So x times x is x squared. x times negative 4x is negative 4, sorry, negative 4 is negative 4x, plus 6x, and then 6 times 4 is 24, so minus 24. And tidying up these middle pieces, negative 4 add 6 is 2, so x squared plus 2x minus 24. On to the next one. x times x is x squared x times negative 8 is negative 8x, negative 3 times x is negative 3x, and then negative times negative makes positive 24 there. Tidying up the middle pieces, minus 8 minus 3 is minus 11, so x squared minus 11x plus 24. And then onto the last one, we could do x times x, which is x squared, x times 2, which is 2x, negative 7 times x is negative 7x and then negative 7 times 2 is negative 14 and again tidying up the middle there 
plus 2, take away 7 is minus 5, so negative 5x in the middle, minus 14. Right, there's all the answers. Let's have a look at something slightly different. Okay, so in this question we have coefficients of x going on that are bigger than 1. So we've got 2x, coefficient just meaning the number in front of the x. So we've got 2x minus 3 and 3x plus 4. I'm going to do exactly the same approach though, so I'm just going to rewrite these so it's a little clearer. So 2x minus 3 and 3x plus 4. Okay, right, so on to the first two. 2x times 3x, so we're still going to get x squared, but the number multiplies the number there. So 2 times 3 is 6. So we get 6x squared instead. Then doing the same thing again, so 2x times 4, 2 times 4 is 8, so plus 8x. And then onto the underneath, just like we did before, negative 3 times 3x is negative 9x. And negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. So we do get some slightly larger pieces in these in terms of the coefficients in front of x, but exactly the same process. So we still have a 6x squared. We just need to tidy up these two middle ones, just like we did before. Now 8 take away 9 is just 1. So remember when you write 1x, you don't put the 1 in front of it. You can do, but it's not, it's not, you know, we don't tend to write the 1 in front of the x there. So I'm just going to put minus x, which just means minus 1x, and then minus 12. And there is your double bracket expanded here. I'm going to look at one more of these before you have a go. Here we go. So expand and simplify this one. So we have 2x minus 1 and 2x minus 5. So let's see what we get here. So 2x times 2x is 4x squared, and 2x times negative 5 is negative 10x. On to the underneath, negative 1 times 2x is negative 2x, and negative 1 times negative 5 gives us positive 5, 1 times 5. And then again, just finishing it up, tidying up what's in the middle here. Both are negative, so just be careful. We've got 4x squared, negative 10 take away 2 is negative 12, so negative 12x and then plus 5 at the end and that's how you expand them when we've got coefficients greater than 1 in the bracket. Okay, so follow the same process, here's something to have a go at. So pause the video there, last two questions and I'll go over the answers in a sec. Okay, so looking at these then, 3x times 2x is 6x squared, 3x times 3 is 9x, so plus 9x, minus 2 times 2x is minus 4x, and minus 2 times 3 is minus 6. And then tidying that up, we get 6x squared. Add 9, take away 4 is positive 5, so positive 5x, and minus 6. And onto the last one here, 5x times 2x is 10x squared. 5x times negative 1 is negative 5x. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4x and then negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2, 2 times 1. And tidying that up to finish this off, 10x squared, negative 5, take away 4 is negative 9, so negative 9x plus 2. And that is how you expand double brackets, no matter what's in them. Okay, so that's the end of that one. Uh, if you are doing the higher paper, obviously make sure to check out expanding triple brackets in the description. And if you like the video, please like, please comment, please subscribe, and I'll see you for that next one. Oh, 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 oh,